What can you get for 20 bucks? Um, give me headsets. We're going to take a look at a couple of them. A wireless and a wired. Uh, a name brand and an off brand. And um, yeah, give an honest opinion. All right, yes, you can still see it's a little bit sticky here. I had to take the Amazon label off. Uh, this is a wireless headset by Wolf Laws. Is that what it is? Wolf Law S or Wolf Law? I don't know. It's a generic, okay, and it was cheap, and I will show you what the price I paid. And we're just, just kind of, we're going to compare that to another one. I'm going to show you the other one here in just a sec. Yep, Turtle Beach. Uh, this one's the Recon 70. They may have a Recon 50 model. This is a Recon 70, it was under $20. It says PS5 and PS4, but that's because it has the 3.5 millimeter jack on it. And if you wanna plug it into, say, something uh, like if you have dual jacks for separate mic and for audio, then you'll have to get a splitter for it. But uh, yeah, we're gonna take a look at both of these, kind of compare them to each other. This one is wired, this one is wireless. We'll see if it makes a difference. We'll find out what the sound quality is, how long it takes to charge this one, all those types of things, and just kind of get an idea. Both of these were under $25, or right around or right under. I think this one might have been closer to $25, but it's wireless. Uh, this is a name brand, and I used to own a set of Turtle Beaches that I loved. And uh, yeah, they tore up on me quite a while back, but this is my, gonna be my second pair in, I don't know, maybe 10 years. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. The unboxing of the wireless is pretty simple. There is the USB adapter in here to help you charge it. It's got cables, uh, everything pretty much that you would need. I, this is not only to charge it, I guess that's also the dongle, so it, it's 2.4 gigahertz, regular Wi-Fi. It comes packaged very simply, not a whole lot to it. The headphones are in here, and you know we'll just we'll hook them up and we'll see what they what they sound like and what they uh, what they sound like on the mic as well. And then let me move over to the Turtle Beach. The Recon 70s also uh, very simply packaged, just the plastic around them. You can see the cord here. There's no volume or anything on the cord, so I take it's going to be on the volume control will be on the headset itself. Uh, one of the, one of these or both of these, I don't remember which, uh, had the flip up mute. So we'll discover that. We'll also see what they sound like. We will see uh, what the microphone quality is. Oh, on the other ones, the Wolf Laws, we'll go ahead and find out what the charge is like, how long they last on the charge, how long they take to charge, how long they last. And on these, we'll just simply see what they sound like and all. Uh, this was under 20 bucks. If you wanted the regular set, it was gonna be more expensive than that. Uh, reg by regular, I mean just a regular you know, black or black and red or, or whatever. They did have uh, a couple of different colors. This one I got white with blue because it was cheap, even if I had to wait an extra day or so. The sound quality and everything ought to be exactly the same in all, all the different colors. Um, and the Wolf Laws, I think, only came in one color. So we'll check them out. All right, with a bit of manipulation, I am uh, testing the microphone quality on here. This is best case scenario because it's actually plugged into an external uh, sound adapter from Logitech. Uh, the the one that came with the Logitech headphones. So this is a sound quality test. Best case scenario with with the Turtle Beach. Um, yeah, we'll see how they sound. But just plugging them straight into the audio jack. Mm -mm. All right, this is the best case audio scenario with the Wolf Laws headset, the wireless. Uh, right now I've got them plugged into uh, the 3.5 millimeter jack, doing the same thing I did with the Turtle Beach to give them the benefit of the doubt. So testing the sound quality on this. All right, now this is just straight plugged into uh, a 3.5 millimeter jack that separates the audio and the microphone and the uh, outgoing audio or into the headset. So this is a microphone under, well, just regular conditions. Uh, one thing I'm gonna say about both of these is the cords on both of these are so very short and you have to plug it in basically to the front of your computer. And if the sound adapter going to your front panel sucks uh, the sound quality is going to suck but uh, yeah so let me try the wireless headset plugged in the same way and then we'll get to the wireless tests I, I am telling you that uh, right now the Turtle Beach sound better uh, the microphone quality doesn't seem to be too different so all right so this is plugged in the same way as the Turtle Beach 
Now, when I tried to do this the first time, I could tell that the microphone level was much, much lower. And so I'm trying to re-record this to see if it's any better second time around after trying to play with the volume a little bit. Uh, I'm not impressed so far with the microphone. The microphone's okay, which surprises me for, well, but it's a wired microphone. Um, the sound quality is eh, but yeah, we'll get to the rest of the test in a minute. I want to see how this sounds. This is a typical, um, the way it's going to sound plugged into a 35 millimeter jack. Okay, now we're going to do a wireless test because I've noticed something when I was listening. Um, it sounds so much better wireless than it does plugged into the three and a half millimeter jack. So much better. So I'm hoping the sound quality when I'm recording or using a microphone is also better. Uh, I'm also going to make a correction at this point because you can record, play, whatever, uh, using the 35 millimeter jack, uh, which plugs into USB-C, by the way, um, which is okay. I mean, that's all right. But you cannot use a USB, like just a regular USB-C to USB or anything like that to plug into the headset to get audio. I'm not sure why that is. I have not figured out yet. Maybe there's a driver involved that I haven't looked at yet. Uh, wireless with the USB-C or the Type A, either one. The adapter comes two in one. It's actually a pretty ingenious design. Sounds so much better on wireless. Really, really sounds so much better on wireless. Um, yeah, I'm. I was all set to give this thing sort of failing marks until we got to the wireless part of our program. I'm a little bit more impressed now. Now, like I said, wirelessly or the three and a half millimeter that plugs into the USB-C, yeah, um, you're not getting an in-between. So, but still, I, I thought maybe you could plug it up with USB to the headset and it would work. But it, again, we're talking about cables that are way too short anyway. But the wireless on this, I'm, I'm going to give this a pass now where I wasn't before. Now, it's still a little bit muddy. The sound's still a little bit muddy, but... It's much better than it was, much clearer, much better sounding, uh, and it's actually not horrible. Now, I might get tired of the way these sit on my ears after a while. I think the Turtle Beach were a little bit more comfortable, but it's not bad. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and charge these up to full power and see how long they last if I'm gaming or something, and then that will be my final thing on here. But so far, I mean, the wireless part of this really changed my mind. So what did I think? Do I, do I think that you can get away with buying a headset for 20 bucks and it'll be decent and decent quality and sound good, both audio and you know, input and on, output audio? Yeah, uh, actually, both of these did surprisingly well. Uh, they both did all right. Now, this one, the wireless one, I was about ready to uh, write off because the three and a half millimeter wire, I didn't like that option. But as soon as I put it wireless... That's where it shined. It did both. It did well in both the uh, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. Cute little labels on the inside, left and right. Um, yeah, this does not have the automatic mute when you flip it up. It does have a mute button on the side of it, um, which worked pretty well. Power is you power, press and hold it for three seconds. Bluetooth to uh, Wi-Fi, you can switch back and forth here. Um, volume is on the headset itself. That was all pretty easy to figure out, pretty low impact. The only real thing on the Turtle Beach is just the volume, but it does have automatic mute if you flip the microphone up. So I thought that was a pretty good feature. The goods and bads about both of these. Uh, we already discussed that this one is not good with the wired, great with the wireless. This one is good. I, I thought it was very, very good, including the uh, flip up mute and all that stuff, but the wire is just too darn short. You need an extended wire to be able to use this. Uh, it's just not long enough to be able to use practically on a nearby PC. And a lot of the times, if you are going to use it on the nearby PC, you're probably going to be putting it in the front panel jack, which all of us know is not that good, usually. <laughs> so you would need something to split it up and put it in the rear audio. Uh, past that, it does sound fine, works fine. What surprised me a little bit was the design. You can kind of see how the ear earphone itself is kind of swept forward at an angle. It doesn't look like it's going to sit completely down on your ears, but both of these, after playing with quite a while, both of them were fairly comfortable. They did just a little bit. I think these were a little bit more uncomfortable after about three hours, but after I took them off, after a little bit of time, I didn't even notice. It didn't hurt my ears. I, I 
slept fine that night, all that stuff. So, so both of these were pretty comfortable, even though I didn't think they were going to be. I, I didn't have much of a problem at all. I, I was a little bit surprised with the sort of angled design of the headphones, but it actually ended up being quite comfortable. And it sat pretty well in my head and didn't give me any issues at all. I was really kind of, because that does not look... Um, doesn't look like a natural position I would think that most headphones would be in. My, my older ones did not do that at all. Uh, these don't really do that. They do a little bit, but not nearly as much. I was really happy. Uh, if I had to pick a winner out of the two, believe it or not, it's going to be the wireless ones. Just because of the improvement in the wireless, and I could get up and move around, and I didn't have to worry about uh, the very, very short cord that was on the other one. I do like the sound quality of the Turtle Beach a little bit better. Uh, I do like the price of both of them. The regular price of this one is more expensive than this one normally is. But for the price, I don't know how long the batteries are going to last in here. Uh, I did not wear up the batteries after three plus hours of gaming. Uh, it only took about an hour to charge up. I have no idea how long it's going to actually last. But Or at a year from now, if they'll still charge up and hold that charge as long. But for now, they ended up being okay. So yes, you can definitely buy inexpensive headphones that sound good if you hunt around a little bit and find something. Read the reviews. The reviews on both of these were very, very good, and that's the reason why I chose them at that price. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, buying cheap headphones, and the reason why I did it is because my other headphones are starting to wear out. And uh, that's kind of the reason why I bought other headphones before is because the Turtle Beaches I had wore out. They actually broke on me. So you never know. Uh, but yeah, that's it. Uh, cheap headsets? Yeah, you can get some cheap headsets uh, that sound pretty good. Sound quality in both of them was fine. I, I could hear, like in, in shooters, I could hear somebody coming up from behind me or to the side or something. It was uh, very good spatial quality on both of them. And I, I can't say I wasn't impressed. I, I was. It was pretty good. So that's all I got for this one. I just wanted to take a look at a couple of uh, sets of headsets or a couple of different types of headsets at a, more of a budget type range. I didn't feel like spending 60 or 70 bucks or $100 or $150. And I thought I would see what I could get for 20 or 30 bucks and compare them to each other. And it worked out pretty well. I'm very happy with both of them. I, I will use and keep both of these pair. So it works out well. Uh, in, in any case, that's it for these. Uh, I, I do have other stuff com coming up, including a trip to Ocala. Part of the reason why, well... One of the things I did on that trip was test, to test these, but there were some other things as well, including trying to uh, work on my brother-in-law's laptop, my sister and brother-in-law's laptop, and a few other things. So that uh, may be coming up here fairly soon. Still working on some other things, some, maybe some builds and all that, but we're getting back into the swing of things. We're trying. We're doing it. Uh, we'll get there. And uh, maybe be on a little bit more of a regular cadence, too. You never know. Anyway, that is all I have for this time. If you have if any, found any of this... Uh, informative or you liked it or anything like that at all please throw a like on it if you're not already subscribed please do uh, don't forget to follow me on the other socials i'm streaming on that purple channel a couple of times a week even that schedule has gotten a little weird but that's okay and uh yeah that's pretty much it so until i get myself into something i got no business getting into oh one thing real quick if you don't do any of that other stuff if you don't do hit the socials or like or subscribe or anything please just do me one thing and i almost forgot and that's be good to each other Smile, wave, hold the door open, just be kind. It doesn't cost anything to be kind, and you might find it makes you feel better and improves somebody else's day as well. So that is it. And until I get myself into something I got no business getting into, I'll see you later.